the Cardinals dominated on the defense. Uh, linebacker Monty Montgomery posting eight tackles, five solo uh, for 1.5 for a loss, one sack and a forced fumble. The defense basically led the way throughout this whole game when Cincinnati mm-hmm. Cincinnati only scoring seven. Mike, what did you see in this game? Man, what I saw was uh, a team that didn't have that same fight, that same attitude that, you know, Luke, Luke Fickle brings to teams. That That's exactly what I saw. Um, you know, and I just thought that the culture and everything that Luke Fickle had built there, you know, would still be able to resonate within those players, within those leaders as well. And that's just not what we uh, – what we saw because, I mean, yeah, I do understand, you know, Cincinnati group of five, but they have built themselves um, to where they could actually compete with, you know, um, mid-tier, at least mid-tier power five teams at least. Um, and that's that's not what I saw from uh, Cincinnati at all. So maybe, you know, where I was thinking that Cincinnati was set up, it might be Louisville who can actually do that. So, right, and uh, I, I'm actually worried about them going into the Big Twelve. What what is it? Is it this coming season? I think it's or, this com- It's yeah. uh, I want to say 2023. This coming, see, 2023, or yeah. or even if it is 2024, but I think it's 2023. Yeah, yeah. I mean, dang, Texas and OU, y'all. I mean, because what's it's not just Cincinnati coming in there. It, man, the Big 12 about to be loaded next year, man. Yep. Hey. Houston, UCF all join the Big 12 in 2023. Yep. And it's it's and here's the thing, you know, like conference games is uh they're they're so hard because you you know those teams and things like that. And when you bring in teams that these other teams aren't too familiar with, that can also throw a wrench in it. You know, you're not that familiar with that team. You're not familiar with that program. Um, They might hit you with some things you're not used to. So, 